What's going on boys? Welcome back to the channel and the Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. Here we are, season four. Already episode two boys. In the last one, we made some big decisions. Formation has been changed. The team is now going more attacking. Coming with more attacking means better players. So some of the old players have left. Some new players have joined. Welcome a new star striker, Jua Wara. He'll be battling it out with Joe Gelhart for our main striker. Super Ross Stewart remains as a very good third choice. Of course, our captain, our legend, our leader from the Youth Academy, Riley, is in the team. Now partnered with another attacking midfielder and another Youth Academy player in Lloyd. What a player he's turned into. Another Youth Academy player again, boys is Lambert. He's back in the first team. Fingers crossed, a big season from him. Now to the right, our biggest signing so far of the career mode, Pedro Neto. The Portuguese baller is here. This is his first full season at the club. A massive sign from the last episode was this man from Valencia, De Souza. He's in to compete with Jed Spence. De Souza though, 18 years of age, major potential. Another signing, Mitoglu, the big Greek centre-back, leaves. The French centre-back joins. Maxima is here, partnered by the ever-present Doyle. Out on the left side, the OG from the beginning of the career mode, Sirkin, remains. And another Youth Academy player, in goal, Connor Collins. Who else? A very strong-looking bench as well. A beastly-looking bench and a great reserves with some very good, higher potential Youth Academy players. We have done bits building this team. Boys, we've got money left. I don't really want to do much else. 30 million, unless something really big comes our way, we may be done with transfers, but that's okay, because matches are here. And the first one of the season, the curtain opener. At Wembley, the Community Shield, Sunderland, and your league winners from last year, Liverpool. The atmosphere here at Wembley is incredible. The FA Cup winners, the Premier League winners, both from last season competing in what is effectively a pre-season game. But there is silverware up for grabs, and Sunderland haven't exactly been fruitful when it comes to silverware. If we can add another one to our trophy cabinet, why not do so? Liverpool have been active in the transfer market. They've kept all their star men and added to that team. Jurgen Klopp, very switched on. But so have we. We've made some big signings. Here they come. Sirkin into Lloyd. Lambert's making the run. That's great early play from us. Find in the box. Juwara was arriving. We still have the ball with Sirkin. On to Lambert. This is Lloyd, why not have a go? Shot though, is closed down very quickly and Liverpool now look like they may be able to counter here. This is Henderson to Tucciameni, the 100 million pound signing they made last year, but Doyle, great defending lad. Cabral now streaming forward and there's space. If he can find Riley, he can find Juwara. Juwara onside and his debut, Juwara. Scores our number 12 up front today. Gilhart on the bench. And he does the business. That is a brilliant finish. A great run. That is Sunderland 1. Liverpool nil. Very early in this game. I did not expect us to start with quite that amount of passion. That amount of fire. And that was all about Juawara. What a signing he could be for us, boys. 11th minute, we lead 1-0. After going 1-0 up, we are starting to dominate this game. De Souza, the new signing, in the box! And it's Neto! We lead 2-0! That is what you call teamwork. Since going 1-0 up, Liverpool have looked like they're about to crumble. And they have! De Souza getting up. From the right side, the right back, with a great delivery, the 18-year-old, in the box. I wasn't sure who it was. It was that man, Pedro Neto, our biggest signing so far. Great volley. Allison didn't have chance to react to that one. He's 2-0. Get in! Lads, if I look like I'm hot, if I look like I'm sweating, that's because I am. It's so hot in the UK! Ah. 
took my eye off it for less than a second. Mohamed Salah doing what he does best, scoring goals. He scores and all of a sudden it is game on. What a turn from Jota, by the way, and a good finish. Collins maybe could have done a bit better. A little bit disappointed when I'm watching that replay, if I'm honest. He probably should have. A little disappointed with our youth academy keeper. Klopp, though, buzzing with Mo Salah. Because now they're back in the game. 2-1. Neto's having a brilliant game. In towards the Souza, who's also having a great debut. That's a good pass. Neto, can he slide it? He can. This is Cabral. Tight angle. Dinks. Alisson! Oh, my God! That is how you dink the goalkeeper! Cabral! Whoa! What a goal, mate! Takes it wide. Dinks Allison. He weren't expecting it. I mean, the goalkeeper. What is he doing there? Jumping nowhere near the ball. He's had an absolute nightmare there, Allison. He's jumping away from it, mate. That's insane. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. But I don't care. I'm beating Liverpool. 3-1. Cabral with all sorts of space in the midfield. And we could score again before half-time. This could be four. It's four. Oh, my God. Are Liverpool still on their holidays or what? At the back. They're at sixes and sevens. They're all over the show. Sunderland have turned up in the mood for goals. Four goals in the first half. That is outrageous. Samuel Lambert, great finish. But Cabral had all the time and space to pick his pass in the midfield. And he picked it. And then Lambert picked his place. And that's the fourth. Insane. Could this be the season something special at Sunderland truly happens? We won an FA Cup. We look like we could definitely win this Community Shield. The season of the Premier League starts in the next one. Why not? See if we can get in the top four. Liverpool have to be playing better in this second half, and I expect them to do so. Jota on the ball, across to Henderson, into Salah. Jota again, Cabral with a brilliant bit of defending, and they're open again. Would you believe it? Would you believe it? Juawara through, Riley puts him in, and Juawara scores again on his debut at Wembley. Sunderland 5, Liverpool 1. If this isn't a statement, I don't know what is. I said earlier, let's go for the top four. Mate, if we can play like this every game, let's go for the title. Incredible. We may have just done an absolute madness in the summer window. Juawara looks incredible, lads. 5-1. Origi out wide. Bit too much space there for my liking. And Origi's got way too much time. He's hit the post. That sums up Liverpool's day today. Hit in the post there where they could have got at least the consolation. Something to add on to... Oh, what a turn by Riley! We're on the attack again. I can't believe this. And Juawara's in behind for his hat-trick on his debut! Juawara! Have a new hero at Sunderland! Welcome, Juawara. He has a hat-trick at Wembley. Wow. 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 This is incredible. This is absolutely unbelievable. This is going to be our biggest ever win as Sunderland manager at Wembley against Liverpool. That is a statement. And from our new boy as well up front, the finishing has been unbelievable. I can't believe I'm saying it. I can't believe it. It's Sunderland 6. Sunderland 6. Liverpool 1. And Liverpool will close us out here with one final attack. Salah scoring for Liverpool. Well, if you paid to come to Wembley today, you saw eight goals. If I'd have told you that before kickoff, you probably would have said, ah, another big win, big win for Liverpool, eh? No, not a big win for Liverpool. A big win for Sunderland. Liverpool get another goal today. Salah scoring again. I mean, I don't know why you're celebrating like that, lad. At least the Liverpool fans are still with their team because most of them, I'd imagine, would have wanted to leave by now. This has been the most ridiculous, the most incredible game of FIFA that I've ever played. Genuinely, what a game. Well done, boys. We win today's Community Shield. The Sunderland fans, they ended last season absolutely buzzing with the FA Cup. They start this one buzzing again with the Community Shield. Let's lift that beautiful trophy and be confirmed as your winners. Riley, used to picking up the silverware now. Still a young man, but a young man 
with a bright future and an experienced head. He's taking his team all the way. I've got a feeling this season could be the season. Congratulations, lads. Community Shield winners for the first time. Come on! Okay, boys, the market may be over for incomings, but outgoings are still a possibility. Elijah Rogers from the Youth Academy, he needs game time, so a loan deal out to Ghent will be a very good one. We'll accept that. Gilhart going nowhere. 34 million, not a chance. This boy's worth well over 50. That is an insulting offer from Hoffenheim in Germany. And Sirkin, one of the OGs, will remain one of the OGs. Napoli on your bike. And here we go, boys. It is back. The Premier League returns. And it returns down at Selhurst Park. The first game of the season. Down at Crystal Palace. They host us in a magnificent game to open up this season. A season with a lot of promise. A lot of potential for both teams. But Sunderland, after that Community Shield win, people are talking about them as potential underdogs. But not just the top four. Maybe even a title surge. Just like Leicester did a few years ago. Shocking the world of football. Why not do it again? This time though, with the Sunderland. Boys, we've kept the same start in 11 as the last game. De Souza, Maxima and Juawara all were incredible against Liverpool. They deserve to start today. Neto, onto Cabral here. Finds Lloyd. Out the other side, please. Onto Sirkin. Back inside. Juawara has found a good little position. Cabral can hit them from range. He does! And he pulls out a massive save in goal. Dragowski in goal for Palace, making a top save to deny Cabral. This team is just OP. It's just overpowered at this stage. And it is just destined for glory. It is so fun to play with this Sunderland team. Neto to swing the ball in. Great ball! Doyle heads over. And just where we left off against Liverpool, we've started this one on fire. This is Lambert, and this is looking pretty nice for us. Lambert's going to come inside. He might come inside one more time. He's been fouled, Ref! Ref! Going to play on. Lambert's going to open his body! And we've worked the keeper again with a magnificent strike. A fabulous save. There is a yellow card in there for that foul on Lambert. He started this game very well, boys. Another corner. Dangerous, dangerous opportunity. Neto nearly got there. Juawara wins the header, but it falls to a Palace player. At the moment, nearly at half-time, it's nil-nil. It's turned into a little bit of a stalemate. Over an hour played, and it's so typical, isn't it? Scoring goals for fun in the Community Shield against Liverpool. And can't get one today against Palace. Oh, Zaha had a held his run. That was a tap-in for him. And that would have been Palace in front today. De Souza in towards Neto. He's looking for maybe a 1-2. This into Juawara, who's due to come off for Super Joe Gelhart. Sirkin with the overlap. Players in the box now. Riley! Big save again. This goalkeeper. Boom. Shoot me now because he is incredible. Oh, no. No. Don't do this to me. Eze now on the ball. I haven't won it. No. Oh, Lord. God, Lord. Good, Lord. Thank God. Can we get one more chance? One more chance to win it, please. This is looking okay. This is looking nice. Come on, Lambert. Good ball in. <gasps> Riley! Oh, my God! Come on! Yes! Oh, I don't believe it! Riley, the captain, pops up with a massive goal! The opening day of the season! Sunderland have snatched it! At the death! Yes! I really thought it was it. I thought, ah, oh, classic. All the goals dried up in the Community Shield game, but they didn't. We left it late, but it was so, so great. Peter Riley arriving. That is one hell of a header. Well, boys, what a way to end the first game of the season. Late drama, and it goes our favour. Finally, after about 25 minutes, the substitutes get on. They're barely going to have a second on the pitch because I'm expecting the full-time whistle. Get in there. That was an epic ending to what was a difficult game. I did think, what can I do to make it more difficult? 
I don't need to make it more difficult. Liverpool were just terrible. Today, Palace were great, but we were greater. Get in there. First game of the season. Three beautiful points we will take with us. Sunderland this season will be a real threat. Patrick Vieira's Crystal Palace looked decent, but today it ends. Sunderland won. Palace nil. At the age of 19, Peter Riley is captaining his boyhood club in Sunderland. He is an England international. He's a Premier League superstar. He has the potential to be special. He's 83 rated already. He needs a new contract. To be fair, he deserves it. He has two years and 11 months to go. To be fair, we need to do quite a few new contracts, but I'll spread that throughout the season. But this man, with that late goal, it's time to lock him down on a new deal. Okay, he's on two years, 11 months already. I'm offering a three-year extension to put him over to five, nearly six full years. And he wants to stay. Of course he does. He is Sunderland through and through, boys. Now he's on £1,500 a week. That is absolutely insane that we've managed to do that. We're going to give him a lot more money. I'm going to give him 50 grand, 200k to sign, give a nice goal bonus, 10 goals, you get another 200, because you are our boy, and I want you here forever. Please sign the ting. And he does. It was simple. Peter Riley signs a long-term contract extension. He is our player. And as Peter Riley signs his new deal, Kai Baldwin, our third choice goalkeeper, another Youth Academy player, he will be leaving the club on loan to go play in the MLS. He will get some very good experience, hopefully come back a really good goalie as well for us to have. And classic, as soon as he signs a new deal, Man United comes stumbling in with a heap full of cash. Man United, keep your grubby hands off, Peter Riley. 86 million. Try closer to 200 million, and even then, I'd kick you out my door. Reject it. Next up then, boys, is a Premier League game at home against Norwich City. A game we are more than favourites for. So a few players coming in today to freshen up the 11. Gelhart back up front. Rida Edwards and Wepu in the midfield. At the back, Bella Kotchap and Jed Spence return to the team. This is going to be a game that we simulate. Let's see how we get on. Again, we are the favourites, but we have to go out and prove it on the pitch. We are fastly approaching half-time and still nil-nil. Norwich have had to defend for large majority of this game so far, but they are on the ball here to close out this first half. And they do look pretty dangerous as well. There we go, the half-time whistle. Nil-nil. A little bit disappointing. That means interventions will be made. And Wepu clearly not up to scratch right now with his sharpness. So Cabral comes back into the team. Neto as well will come back on for Edwards. Double change at the break. Hopefully that inspires the team to go on and win it. Come on, boys. We've got to be in here. We surely are. It's a big save. It looks like that could have been. Maybe should have been the first goal of the game. None of our players are really having a good game. You look at the player ratings there. None of our attacking force is really clicking at the moment. Our best players are our defenders. That is worrying. They've had a few good players, especially in the midfield. So we need to up our game. We are in attack here. Riley celebrates his new contract with another goal in the Premier League. Sunderland 1, Norwich 0. Kitting. We are moments away from the end of this game, but Norwich on the attack. Ball in the box, and we get it away. Full-time whistle, please, referee. There we go. Two Premier League games played then. Two wins and only two goals. We're keeping clean sheets, but we're not exactly free scoring. Maybe we reused all of our goals in the Community Shield. Who knows? But who cares? Six points from six. Alright boys, so we made a decision earlier in this episode to loan out this young Youth Academy player in Elijah Rogers. So much potential, he's out against to get some more game time. That leaves us with two very good options in Wepu and our starting man, Cabral. But I like to have three defensive midfielders, the reason being we have a lot of games this year. Premier League, we want to defend our FA Cup. Carabao Cup is an option for us and the Europa League. So another young potential player coming in for that position would be ideal. And I'll have my eyes on two very good options. 
and here they are boys, young, ready and hoping the Sunderland make an offer. Our team has turned into a youth academy project, signing so many high potential young players, turning them into fabulous Premier League players. And this is what these two lads are looking to do. Gabriel Borges from Brazil, playing for Hoffenheim. He is 72 rated at 18, a defensive midfielder, left footed, six foot one, only worth four million. That is a very nice deal to do. Or do we look at this young baller, Marius Diawitti, the Belgian, playing for Schalke, 73 overall, worth five million. He's right footed and six foot two. Both players look absolutely exceptional, I have to say. They are both options for us. Only one can join the football club. This is where you boys come into play. I need you today to drop down into the comments and let me know who should we sign as our new third choice defensive midfielder. Should it be Marius De Witte from Schalke or Gabriel Borges from Hoffenheim. It's a big decision because one of these players could be the next big thing at Sunderland. Get down in the comments while you're down there. Smash that like button for me, boys. That really is helping the channel grow at the moment. And it is growing very, very fast. I appreciate all the love. Subscribe if you're new. And if you aren't new, then thanks for coming again. Until next time, you take it easy. And peace.